Hey friends, so now a friend of mine called me and asked me, Para, I want to become an AI engineer in 2026. What should I learn? What are the skills that's gonna get me hired? So as usual, I went and drafted a roadmap for him and I thought, why not sharing it with you? But of course, before we jump in, we gonna answer quickly one question. What is actually AI engineering? Well, there is a lot of confusion online. You're gonna see some people show you a data science roadmap and tells you this is an AI engineering roadmap. So they're gonna send you to learn mathematics, algorithm, how to train a model, machine learning, and a lot of theory. But this is not what the companies are searching for because they don't need another data science. They need a real AI engineer. So let's keep it simple. An AI engineer is someone that builds systems that use AI to solve real business problems. So that means you are not building a chat GPT or you are not training a data model, you are building an AI system. So what is inside an AI system? You're gonna find the following components. You will be connecting AI models like the OpenAI models from Hugging Face. You will be connecting the company's data, databases, files, documents, and you will be connecting as well the company's tools and apps like emails, some internal services and stuff, and interfaces where the user gonna interact with the AI system. So as you can see, you are just connecting stuff in one place and your main job is to make everything correct, secure, fast, scalable, and cost efficient. So this is exactly your job as an AI engineer. If you are interested, then I'm gonna show you exactly how to become one step by step. So now I have created for you a notion roadmap that gonna takes you into four phases. The first phase is the foundations where you're gonna learn the core coding and how to collaborate with the others in AI projects. The second phase is the LLM interaction. You're gonna learn how to communicate and integrate AI models into your apps. And the third phase is the big one where you're gonna learn how to build and run the whole AI system. And the last phase, it's all about building your portfolio, show your work online and get hired. So now let's dive into the phase one. We're gonna learn the foundations and we're gonna start with Python. Python is the first thing and the primary programming language you might learn as an AI engineer. Almost everything that you see in AI systems like tools, libraries, models, everything is written in Python. And in real projects, we use Python to clean up the data, to connect APIs, to deploy models, and to automate pipelines. So if you want to build any AI system, Python is going to be your foundation. And I want you to focus into those four things. First, the data structures and loops. Second, functions and modules for reusability of your code. Third, how to handle files and especially the JSON formats. And the last one, of course, how to make API requests to connect your apps to the AI models. So as an AI engineer, everything is clear. You have to master one programming language and that is Python. Once you start coding with Python, you are going to need to save your files. And if you go and store them at your PC, this is gonna be really risky because you might lose them, but instead of that, we're gonna store our Python files in GitHub to manage the different versions, to be able to share it if you are applying for jobs or with your colleagues if you are collaborating in projects. And as well, you can work on your code anywhere you want. So I wanted to learn how to create a repository, how to push your code, how to make commits with clear messaging, how to pull and merge changes, how to create branches for new stuff. So I wanted to learn all those stuff from day one to become professional. So that's all for this phase. You'll learn how to code and how to share your code. And now in the next phase, we're gonna start learning about AI. And the first thing is large language models, LLMs. So we have to learn how to talk to AI models. The first and the most underrated skill is prompt engineering. Most people think prompt engineering is just like you are typing something into ChatGPT and hoping for a good answer. But there is actually a skill behind it. And it's all about how you communicate with a model so it understands exactly what you want and how to get a tailored answer 
exactly how you expect. So that means you're gonna give it detailed and clear instructions and context. You're gonna tell the model who it is and what its role and show examples of the results that you want. Each time you get an answer from the AI, you're gonna review it and improve your prompts step by step. Like for example, this is one of the prompts that I use in order to brainstorm. And I think I have been building this over a year so I can get exactly what I want from ChatGPT. And to be honest, each time someone tells me, yeah, the results from ChatGPT is really bad and there is a lot of hallucinations. I ask this person, show me your prompt. And usually it is like only one very short sentence. No way, garbage prompts gonna give you garbage results. Boom, roasted. So my friends, as an AI engineer, you have to learn prompt engineering in order to configure the AI models exactly like the requirements of your business. And if you want help learning all those skills, you need to start building your own projects and Datacamp has an excellent courses for AI engineering. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. So now for developers who want to integrate AI into real applications, I recommend the Associate AI Engineer for Developers track. It teach OpenAI API, Hugging Face, Langchain, and Vector databases, and many other stuff like prompt engineering and LLM ops. But now for people coming from data science background, I recommend the Associate AI Engineer for Data Scientist track. It's gonna help your transition into full AI engineering. So you will cover machine learning fundamentals, deep learning with PyTorch, and working with the Hugging Face large model library. And you will learn how to fine tune, you will learn ML ops principles, and many other AI and data topics. And now if you are completely beginner, I recommend the AI fundamentals track. It's gonna give you no code introduction to core AI ideas. So you're gonna learn the basic AI terminology and how to use ChatGPT effectively. And what machine learning and LLMs actually do. So this course is gonna give you the fundamentals you need to start building real projects, which is the most important part of learning. To get started, check the links in the description. Now, next, I want you to learn about the OpenAI API. With ChatGPT prompting, it's all about that you are using your browser to interact with the AI. So it's all good and fun, but the real magic starts when you start using the model behind the ChatGPT by using OpenAI API. So the API is gonna let you interact with the same model, but with one big difference inside your own app, inside your website, your products. So with that, you are building like a chatbot assistance inside your tools. And it is very simple to do. It's just a few lines of Python. You send a prompt, you get a response, and you're gonna display it wherever you want. So to learn this, I wanted to focus on how to set up your API keys, how to send structured prompts with rules and context here again the prompt engineering and how to be careful with handling the cost by using tokens this skill gonna take you from just playing with ai to building something using ai moving on to the next one you're gonna learn how to use models from the hugging face the name is just crazy one so as you are building your ai systems you're gonna notice that you cannot rely completely on open ai because actually they are closed source that means you have no control over the model you cannot see how exactly it works you're gonna pay a lot for using tokens every time and if you are not using azure your company data gonna leave your environment and this is a huge problem for many businesses so this is where the hacking phase comes into the picture it is the biggest community library for ai models there are already more than 2 million models over there. And the best thing, most of them are for free. That means you can go and find a model for almost any problem that you might encounter. And my friend, this is exactly why I keep repeating the same thing. As a data science in industry, we don't have any more to train anything from the scratch. All what you have to do is just to find the right model for your business case and just fine tune it. And the big advantage with the hugging face is that you can download the models locally at your machine and you can deploy it anywhere you want. With that, you stay in control. You can use sensitive data for the model because nothing is leaving your environment and as well, you reduce the costs. So what I want you to learn is to explore the models in the Hugging Face Hub, use transformers in Python, try pipelining and learn how to deploy a model where the data lives. Awesome. So that's all for this phase. You have learned how to communicate with the AI, how to integrate both open AI models and open source models. 
Now we're gonna go to the advanced phase in our roadmap where you're gonna learn how to build a real AI system. And we're gonna start by learning the platform of Langchain. So now let's say that you can talk to AI models, you can write really good prompts, you can build really cool demos, but this is not enough to build an AI system because you need to connect everything together. And this is where Langchain comes in. So you can use Langchain in order to orchestrate the whole process to connect all the models that you need, the tools, the memory, and as well to build your business logic. So the AI can take multiple steps in order to complete a full task. And this is exactly what AI system does. It's not just like one prompt and one answer. So you have to learn Langchain and I want you to do the four steps. Understand the core building blocks like chain, tools, memory, prompts, and then go and connect different models using Langchain and try to build a mini workflow using Langchain in order to solve some real problems. So learning Langchain is the first step in order to build AI system and it's gonna move you from someone that just can do demos with AI to someone that can build an AI system. This is where the real data engineering starts. Okay, moving on to the next skill that is going to be really interesting. We're going to learn about RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. The issue is that all the AI models are actually pre-trained using public data, but of course the company's data are protected and not available publicly which means AI models has no idea about your company's data. So we have somehow to connect the company's data to the AI model. And here comes the concept of RAG. So here how it works. First, you take all the company's data, PDFs and files, and you want to store them into something called a Victor database. So all what you have to do is to turn a text into something fancy called embedding. It is just representing your text with numbers and then load and store all those embeddings inside the Victor database. So once a user asks a question, it's gonna turn into embedding and the system gonna start comparing and searching for the closest match using semantic search. So once it finds the right information, the LLM model gonna turn it into a response. So it's all about adding a memory to the LLM model to use your real data instead of relying on what they were trained on. So now if you want to learn RAG, then focus on those four skills, understand the RAG architecture and the workflow, understand how semantic search finds relevant context, learn about the Victor databases and the embedding, and after the theory, build a RAG using Langchain. So you're gonna prepare a file, split the text, store it in Victor database, and then create prompts and chains. So this step is really a big one, but it's gonna make you ready as an AI engineer. Okay, moving on to the next skill, we're gonna learn about the AI agents. We all used AI chatbots like the ChatGPT, you write a prompt and it gives you back a text. But of course, this is not enough. Companies want more than a nice answer on the screen. They want an AI that actually gets the works done. And this is exactly why we have AI agents. An agent does first the thinking and then it's gonna take a real action. Like for example, maybe talking to a database, updating records, calling an API, and maybe triggering a workflow. And as well, it is great in order to automate a lot of boring tasks that we do normally at the work, like reading the incoming emails and responding to it creating a summary of a meeting and as well creating those boring Jira and ServiceNow tickets. So it is way more than just a chat with AI, it is an AI that is actually doing a work. Now to learn how to work with AI agents, you can do the following things. Learn how to call APIs and connect to databases using AI agents, how to build an agentic rag to search for the documents, and how to use multiple agents that can work together. So AI agents are the real thing in order to do automations at companies. Okay, to the next skill, which is really nice, the MCB, Model Context Protocol. Now, AI agents can only take real actions like checking emails, querying a database, or calling an API, only if they are connected to the external sources. And here, my friend, there are like two big problems. First, if you connect your AI agents directly to the productive database, this is really risky. And the second issue, we have a lot of external systems and you're gonna end up writing and building connectors 
for each tool and this takes a lot of time and efforts in order to create new connectors each time you are connecting a new system to the AI agents and this is exactly why we have MCB it fixes those issues we're gonna add a safe and standard layer between your AI agents and your sources and this has my friend a lot of benefits first of all you can plug and play any system to your AI agents without creating each time in new connectors using this layer gonna give you a full control on how the AI gonna interact with your sources where you can add a lot of policies in order to protect your external sources so using MCB servers and protocols it gonna make everything like faster you can connect a lot of things and as well you're gonna feel safe connecting AI agents to your sources now to learn MCB I want you to understand how the host the AI agents and the MCB server communicate through the protocols, how to connect database APIs using MCB, how to set permissions and access scopes, and how to audit and log all the actions. So this is very important in order to build AI system that is safe and fast. So you have to understand this technique because you're gonna use it in order to build your AI system. Now moving on to the next skill and this is really important. You have to learn the LLM ops. So let's say that you have built an amazing AI system. Everything is working and solid and you have a really perfect track. Now it's time to go live with your users, right? Now if you think that after that you can go and celebrate and go in long vacation, then you are totally wrong. Because if you do that, everything gonna go down really fast, the model gonna be slow, the cost gonna be really high, and your users gonna start whining about the AI and the bad results. So that means there are like post activities after you go live with your AI system. So you have to understand the full cycle of the LLMs from the idea to the production, how to track prompts, how to test your rag and optimize it, how to set up CICD, how to do monitoring and alerts. So there are a lot of activities that you have to do after going productive to make sure that your users trust your AI system. Otherwise, your project gonna fail. Those are all the skills that you need in order to become an AI engineer. And now we're gonna move to the last phase where we're gonna prepare you to get hired. What if we all get together and hire a new guy? Nowadays, the market is really horrible and one of the best things that you can do is actually building your portfolio. You can do that by building projects and publishing it in GitHub. And of course, there are a lot of ideas for AI projects, but here are my three recommendations. The first project is talk to documents. So you're gonna build a rag assistance to answer questions from PDFs and files. And in the answers, you're gonna show citations so people trust the answer. The second project is talk to data. So the user is going to ask a question, AI agent is going to convert it to SQL, so it's going to generate a query, and then it returns the results in a chart. It is very similar to the service that the Databricks offers currently, it's called AI Genie. It just lets you talk to the data directly, but of course you want to build it from the scratch. Project 3, AI Email Automation Agent. So the AI agent is going to read the emails and send replies using specific clear rules. So build one of those projects and make it your portfolio. So write, clean, read me, add an architecture diagram, and maybe even record a short demo about your project. You're gonna show the companies not only you know the skills, but you can build something. And if you want to push more, you can go and get certified as an AI engineer. And here you have like some great options like the Azure AI engineer, AI 102. This is a really strong one. You get it directly from Microsoft or you can get the Databricks generative AI engineer. So if you are targeting a company that already using Databricks, then this is great certification or you can get certification from Datacamp AI fundamentals. It is a nice starter if you are completely new and you want to get your first certification and as well well, if you are targeting more data science, then you can get the AI engineer for data scientist associate certification. If you want to stand out of the crowd, then combine project with certifications. This can really push you in this horrible market. So my friends, this is the full roadmap in order to become an AI engineer. This is what I recommended my friends and I'm running out of coffee, so we have to end. As you can see, it's not about data science and training models from the scratch. It's all about how to build an AI system that every company are currently hiring to do. If you like this type of content and you want to support me, then subscribe, like, comment. This really helps the algorithm. 
and connect with me in LinkedIn. I'm posting there every day. And you can follow my newsletter. I write there weekly about the experience and the things that I have learned at work. Nothing left than to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.